You're welcome to Amazing Minds. Take this as me officially welcoming you to the show. Amazing Minds is a political commentary show. Uh, when we say political, I'm not talking just about uh, affairs that deal with government, but political in the sense of society, everything that affects society from uh, livelihoods to trends to uh, culture and whatnot. So political discussions, political commentary is what we'll focus on, but we have uh, a lot of inspirational conversations ranging from Bible talks to uh, chats with guests and comedy. So the aim of the show is to educate, inform, and entertain you. So at the end of each episode, you should at least have experienced one of those things, either be entertained, uh, be educated, or be informed. So Amazing Minds is available on podcast, um, as podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. You can catch the audio there for those of you that love audio podcasts, or if it's more convenient for you. I prefer video personally, so I, I, would, I would rather go for the video version of a podcast. I take some time during the day to actually watch, uh, notwithstanding Every now and then I do listen to audio podcasts and that's why we're making it available on audio. Uh, but the video podcast is available here on YouTube every Monday and Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So Monday and Wednesday are for political conversations, political discussions or rather political commentary. And Friday is for Bible talks. So if you want to catch Bible talks Friday, uh, 12 hours Central African time, you can find it here on YouTube and on the audio platforms I mentioned earlier. And if you want to catch the political commentary, you can catch it on Monday and Wednesday. If you are not new to the channel, then you may have noticed that we've been rolling out some segments already, uh, which form up a part of the show. So what I'm introducing to you now is the show, Amazing Minds. But what we've put out so far are just segments of the show. And uh, as we go further, you begin to understand that through those segments, we give context to why we comment on issues the way we do, uh, either politically or spiritually, uh, because of what we believe and how we believe it. So we give you the facts of what we believe, the way we, we believe them through rebuttals and through Bible talks and through uh, many other segments. We're introducing new segments like Empty Teens Make the Loudest Noise. I think you'll love that. Uh, but for us to fully introduce the show to you in its entirety, we need to see the channel grow. So if you want to see more content from this channel, then help the channel grow by subscribing, hitting the like button and sharing. And also leave your comment to tell us what you think. All right. Enjoy the show. Come rain, come sunshine. Switch my heart and do you will find. It's love for you. All I got is love for you. Oh yeah, yeah, there's no lie I will hold you Come over, forever be my lover Woman in the circle So coffee is good for you, for the microbiome So they say, that you can tell when you study the microbiome Who takes coffee and who doesn't uh, Antioxidants appearance, skin, and whatnot. There are all these benefits they tell us about coffee, apart from the fact that it will uh, energize you. I don't know how well that works for most of you. So they recommend that you don't take it after 12 because it will last in your system for a long time. Do you see that? <sighs> all right, today we're discussing a couple of things, uh, debt restructuring, um, the president's displeasure with sugar daddies, and PDF. You guys want to stay tuned because we're going to look at the PDF here together. If you don't know what the PDF is, then you are left behind. All right, debt restructuring. Uh, what exactly is debt restructuring? Uh, since this term has been thrown around of late, what exactly is debt restructuring? What did the president do when he went to France? But before we get into that, let us listen to it from Lynx Lungo's perspective. Take a look. Check, 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 mm -hmm. So, um, you know, bitch loan at the bank, okay? Mm -hmm. Then after some time, see, they check at mm, so this one is bang. Two years later, three years, nothing, see. It's just two and from 
court cases and whatnot. Ah, so they sit you down, like you say, land, patch here. Then they tune you now. Just honest things, they say. They just tune you sir. We've noticed your bang, they say, bang. It's, 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 it's wild for you. Because mm. even the neighbors tune the bank at mm, sir, this own dang graze. The loan has at them. So yeah. yeah. Now the bank tunes you at mm, sir. We'll help you, say. So what we're going to do, they got interest, but uh, we'll remove some. If you're paying 50% interest at your loan, they bring it down to maybe like a 30%. You understand? Then they even tune you at mm, that you're supposed to pay within what? Mm? Within two years. They tune you as such, you're a boy. You're a boy. You pay back the chillon say after at least maybe five to ten years you understand you say mm. so yeah that's debt restructuring but for tough ones all right so debt restructuring but for tough ones i think that was a summarized but comprehensive explanation of debt restructuring basically there are a, a few key points you need to understand about debt restructuring number one the interest so the interest is paid differently uh a new interest amount is negotiated and also the bulk log of the principal is paid over a longer period of time so if you're owing 6.3 billion as zambia has been owing then you are told to instead pay 750 million by a certain period of time which was supposed to be the period in which you should have paid uh, the whole amount so i have a table here by andrew chibuya let's take a look this table explains debt restructuring in a comprehensive way. We'll not really look at everything, but we'll just try to run through it. So question one says, what amount is currently due to be uh, to official creditors and over what period is it to be paid? So that's 6.3 billion by 2031, which is about eight years from now, which would put us at $800 million a year, approximately. Um, so question two, based on agreement reached, what amounts will now be paid and when? 0 0.75 billion by 2031, which puts us at 100 million US dollars a year. And the rest will be paid between 2032 and 2043. So you can uh, take a look at the table uh, in your personal time and you will get to see exactly what else is involved with the debt restructuring. But debt restructuring is basically giving people the chance to actually be able to pay you back because if you try to squeeze it out of them i once heard one uh, influencer in zambia say this he said if you are trying to get money from me because i owe you you know he says and that's exactly what uh, Zambia was failing to do to produce what it was owing without squeezing itself because if you squeeze Zambia then it, there will be no Zambia to produce uh, what they are owing you so restructuring the debt is, doesn't only work in our interest even though it works more in our interest but it also works in the interest of our mutual relationships with other countries and it works in the interest of those countries that actually want to receive their money so in order to receive their money they have to come up with an agreement of restructuring but in order to actually trust a country and restructure its debt it must have shown you some serious potential and some serious integrity uh never Spumba had something to say and it was interesting take a look he said, while this is not the forgiveness of our debt, it sends a strong message that Zambia has presented an intelligent, prudent, and believable proposal to the lenders. The restructuring will allow Zambia to pay off the same debt while breathing instead of what was prevailing before when we had a noose around our neck. So when you have a noose around your neck, it is impossible to effectively deal with your debtors while staying alive. Because it will weigh you down and it will break you to the point you are even if ineffective to your debtors. So restructuring is a wise move, a smart move, a good move. And it will be beneficial for the people of Zambia in the wrong run. Yeah, yeah. did I just say that? In the long run. <laughs> All right. So uh, in other news, President Hichilema is not so amused by sugar daddies. Take a look. Why we have increased bursaries and loans, why we have brought meal allowances to the fire and my sugar daddies in the colleges. To the fire.
Everybody Z. Z. Everybody Z. Everybody Z. Na tuleta ama miula allowance Z. Tatule fire ma sugar daddy Z. Kule ona ulava na besu. Maskos. Mule ufama momas. Eh, mule ufama wino wino. Ikale new maskos. Ikale in the schools. Stay in the schools. So those were the president's remarks on the said issue of sugar daddies. Now, this poses a question for me. This brings a question for me. What exactly is the issue that's causing this whole sugar daddy uh, conundrum, if we can refer to it as that? Because there could be a couple of reasons why ladies are finding themselves in that position. You know, it reminds me of a time I was in university. The school I was at, the university I was at, is a very moral environment, which it, which means they create an environment that forces you to live morally. Uh, they tell you what to wear. You can't wear uh, a, a skirt above the knees. You can't wear something that's see-through. You can't uh, wear uh, something that doesn't have a collar. You, you can only wear smart shoes. Uh, it was crazy. But the issue is when we left the school premises and went to their boarding houses and the likes, we were exposed indecently. It was serious. The thing is, when you try to uh, impose morality on people, it, sh it should come from a true transformation for someone to really behave differently. If you impose morality, what you're simply doing is, you know, putting, it's like when you put pressure on something and it blows up, you know? So what exactly are we dealing with here? Is it an issue of money? Is it an issue of uh, character? Uh, what exactly is it? Because many many ladies there, the issue of buzzery will not sort out this problem because there is a different motivation behind it. So you need to discover that motivation and deal with it because if it's a character issue, money may actually make it worse. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But introducing buzzers for me doesn't sort out the issue of sugar daddies. As a matter of fact, it only gives the girls transport money to go and see them. And in other news, the PDF document. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the PDF? <laughs> if you're ready, type I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's a PDF document. <laughs> Find something constructive to do. If you're not following the podcast, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Uh, Amazing Minds has begun. See you. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.